Real quick, this is the Denon 887, AVR 887, and it doesn't have the red ring of death around the um, volume control knob when you turn it on and it flashes the red, which means there's um, voltages are wrong probably at the output of the transistors, the output transistors for the speakers. This one comes on and it does it self-diagnostic and then it completely turns off. It doesn't stay on with a flashing light. It just turns completely off. So that tells me it does come on. So that means the transformer is good. But then it shuts off. So what it probably is, is the uh, voltage regulators right here. And they're giving out bad voltages. So the, so the device comes on. It reads that there's bad voltages. And so to, to protect all of the... Um, the equipment it shuts completely off well how do you get to these to unsolder them if you look this is a um it's a it's not a discrete board it's one gigantic circuit board and to get to the underneath of this there's no panel to unscrew on the bottom to get underneath to it you got to take all this out and you got to take and i'm just an amateur you got to take all this all this out to get to this board to get it um to get to it well i thought how can i think out of the box this is going to be my baby i'm going to keep this one i got it for ten dollars on craigslist and it's a pretty good amp it's got a bunch of uh hdmi outputs and stuff so i thought what can i do anyway if you look i've got this off without taking out the circuit board how did i do that well if i can lift this up hold on i'm sorry lift this up what I did was, and this looks horrible right now, but since there's already vent holes here, I just cut this out. And I know this is sacrilege and stuff, but I'm gonna keep this. So you can't saw and you can't drill because uh, my understanding is metal filings in a uh, circuit board is kind of a no-no. So I just took some uh, pliers and just started bending. I grabbed a hold of these vent holes and just started bending until I got this out. And that allowed me to get to the, um, right here, there, there's one mounting, there's another mounting, and this is where the two transistors mount right there, these two places. And this is to mount the whole heat sink there and there. So I got to it, got it out, and what I'll do is after I get it back and make sure it's working, I'll just cut the rest of this stuff off carefully and I just go, just leave it open it's on the bottom nobody sees it and if I wanted if it was repaired for a friend or something I don't know if I do it professionally is I've got other uh, pieces of metal from other devices I could just put this over I drill a few holes in this so I'd still get the ventilation to the board and then just tag this on here somewhere you know make it look professional no one would be the wiser and that saved me probably three or four hours of work and then then since I'm an amateur once I uh started it I wouldn't be able to put it back together because I'm not that handy but we'll see what happens but anyway that's an out of a box way to get to uh, underneath the board there's there's other places you can get into too but remember don't drill and don't grind to get in here because you have too many shavings even this is dangerous but what the heck it was ten dollars and uh, I'll have a couple hundred dollar uh, receiver when I get done so this isn't to let you know if it worked or not but just a way to get to it thank you